Hello everyone, my name is Andre and today we are back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Brits, this time episode 44. Ishizu explains it all. So I just spent 10 minutes trying to fix something that uh, probably didn't have to be fixed, but... You know, that's life. <laughs> Guys, as always, please don't forget to share support the local reveal links are in the description below. And as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, if you forgive me, do subscribe. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, we do videos, uh, fun fun videos here uh, for a while. So please subscribe. Uh, a lot of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed, so that could help a lot. It's free. And you can also subscribe if you don't like it. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at IT. Same link for the YouTube channel, I guess. You know. Uh, that's all. Thank you. Uh, let's begin. <laughs> I have to say, um, just in the very beginning, um, yes. <laughs> the following is a fan base parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT are all owned by Fun Animation, Joey Animation, Fuji TV, and Akira Toriyama. Please support your official release. I can do better. I can do better. <clears throat> The following is a fan base parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT are all owned by Fun Animation, Toei Animation, Fuji TV, and Akira Toriyama. Please support your official release. Does that sound like the original? The following is a fan base parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Well, Z, not Dragon like Ball. this one. <laughs> the following is a fan base parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Yo, Ball Yo, Kaiser, I'm happy for you, and I'm gonna let you finish, but Yu Gi Oh! Bridge <laughs> is one of the greatest shows of all time. My soul has been sent <laughs> yes. to the Shadow Realm. Well, ain't that a kick in the teeth? I'm afraid even friendship cannot save her now. Bull crap! Three people <laughs> into the semi-finals and three people have been hospitalized. I wonder if there is a connection. Wanna know the best thing about unconscious chicks? They can't say no. No, well, yeah. That what? That reaction. It kind of does feel like everyone is looking at him right now, though everyone is actually looking at Yugi. Let me see. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, everyone is looking at Yugi, but it, it because of the the lines, it kind of feels like they are looking at Duke. Uh, yeah, it's fun. Oh yeah, like I'm the only one thinking it. Come on. Just because they can't say no, it doesn't mean they are saying yes, Duke. God, that was that was very creepy. <laughs> uh, that was that was very creepy. I've almost finished analyzing the Egyptian text, Seto. I'm using Babelfish, so the translation should be about 38% accurate. Thank you, talking collar. Man, a talking collar. As if his coat wasn't badass enough. It's like he's wearing kit from Knight Rider. Well, it looks like my opponent has decided to conceal. I've always loved how Kaiba's coat has its own... Um, it, it, it has a frame of its own, like, pushing it behind as if there's always eternal wind. Just steadily putting it... In a cool I way. Think it was pointless to even <laughs> face me on the field of battle. That must Their be a pain in the ass to wash. So slim. Hello. Damn it, okay, never mind. Yugi, what's that thing? That's Ishizu. She's the one who told me about my ancient past, even though I already kind of knew about it. She's a mysterious character shrouded in mystery, which is just another way of saying she's boring as all get out. <laughs> I'd hit it. Ishizu, help me. Sorry, Maddox, but your sister is in another castle. No! What is this? I don't even... Sorry, I'm late. I was stuck on this really difficult <laughs> Professor Layton puzzle. You know the one. <laughs> How in the hell did you interact? I do know the one. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Yes, that's so relatable. If you've played Professor Layton games, there's always that one puzzle. Like, it... it it's not necessarily the hardest. It's not necessarily the easiest. But for some fucking reason, you just can't figure it out. <laughs> and it drives you insane! <clears throat> Tournament and get to the semi-finals without my knowing about it. 
Seriously, you'd think I'd keep tabs on stuff like that. I achieved victory with my Millennium Necklace. It allows me to perceive the future. So you cheated. Just yes. like everybody <laughs> else here. Nice. Good to know my Battle City rules were completely ineffectual. Hey, I didn't cheat. <laughs> You're not even in my tournament, Wheeler. Of course not. I'm here to save my brother's soul. He has been consumed by a great evil, and I intend to rid him of it. Good luck with that, Shackle Nuts. Nah, that I looks bad. Nah, nah, nah. Even this doesn't look... This is not you, the Yu-Gi-Oh! animation that I'm used to. Oh, what the fuck is this? Nah, fam. Come on. The animation used to be so much better. Nah. Like, this kind of mistake has happened so often now that the one great thing that I really loved about this show, it seems like it's declining. That the fuck do they... Have they lost the budget for the animation? Oh, that's, I've been, um, no, no. Even this, like, close-up doesn't look that good. The eye is kind of meh. It's brighter than than it's been before. Uh, kind of this side, I know it's perspective, but this side kind of doesn't look right. It's kind of funny looking. Um, it feels like kind of a sticker, uh, kind of. And the eyes look like not very proportionate. This eye doesn't seem like it's looking at the same direction that this. The face is too, too smooth. There's no texture whatsoever. So it doesn't feel like, it feels like a doll. Uh, I don't know, it's just, we have seen so much uh, better animation, sure, there's like the lines here from the for, for the frown, but besides that, like, it's kind of disappointing. For a good ten years. Look at the earring. No shine, no no anything, it feels like it's cardboard. It's uh, now, and I happen to like the taste. Mm, that's See, now, it's a completely different thing. This looks great, not as bright, not as shiny. S good definition in the hair in the air i mean great lines giving texture and and depth to the skin uh the the eye you know as a, sh a little shadow it's well defined you know it's well drawn what the fuck even this kind of is that a, why? Good, Maddox Soul. Look, I don't believe in any of this bullshit. You want to know what I believe in? Kaiba, uh, and lots of them. Kaiba's so eye there. Your fucking dukes, bitch, because you are going the down. The end. Kaiba this Club looks so style. good here. You may not believe, Kaiba, but by the end of this duel, you will know that there is an even greater power at work here. A power that threatens the very fabric of our existence. I'm not interested in your fairy tales. Unless they involve unicorns. I like unicorns. Me huh. too. Shut up, talking animation. color. This we are all of us part of an online phenomenon <laughs> known as Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Series. <gasps> created by a chubby British guy in his mid-twenties. <laughs> and four kids wishes to see this show cancelled. Here, what? let me pretend I'm interested. Gee, Let's Mrs. Shizu, burn why would they want to do that? <laughs> because Yu-Gi-Oh! is a product under their control. And right now, most of the interest in Yu-Gi-Oh! stems from our world. But our Yu-Gi-Oh! Universe has grown tired. It is it she's design is different. Like, check it out. I'm going to give you guys a, a comparison between this image, this close-up, and the first and the and the, the first time we meet her with Kaiva. And do tell me if her design was not changed. It's like a completely different person. I knew it. I knew when I first saw Ishizu that she looked funny looking. I knew it. And yet, you know, I kind of ignored it. But yeah, they did change the design. I fucking knew it. Geo stems from our world, but our universe has grown tired and cliche. Our characters have become nothing more than vessels for lame catchphrases. For example, Joey saying, yeah. <laughs> Kaiba saying, screw the rules, I have money. Haven't said that in years. Yeah, that's Tristan actually true. He hasn't said it in a while. Pretty much anything. God damn it, Napa. If that's true, then why do... Yes. God damn it, Napa! <laughs> uh, don't you have a catchphrase? Because shut up, there is a prophecy, <laughs> Kaiba. A prophecy that speaks of our world being destroyed. And unless I defeat you, that prophecy will come true. Well, good, because... I like this. Uh, what Ishizu is doing right here, right now... 
Besides breaking the fourth wall, is actually pretty interesting because it's dividing the Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge series from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Show, giving it its own plot and its own style. Which is something that I have been saying, if you are not going to follow the plot like Dragon Ball Abridged did, you should make up your own plot. And it feels like that's the direction the show is going, which I love. It gives the show this new sense of breath of fresh air, you know? And it, it's 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 way more interesting and captivating because now he's in control of what the show goes towards, you know? He can make up his own plot lines and make the characters say whatever he wants them to say. And he can even change a few things like he did uh, with the board of directors of Kaiba Corp praying to four kids and stuff like that. He can actually do that. I legitimately prefer that to what we've been ha getting up until now. Uh, and by having Ishizu, which could be the connection between the creator and the real world and the show itself, you know, the divider in between realms. She, she could be the bridge in between the realms. I feel like that could potentially give us um, a decent amount of of plot. Um, I think that's the direction the show should go Because I wouldn't personally. want to live in a world where a worthless character like you can defeat me. My <laughs> turn. I activate my crush card virus, leaving you with no monsters to attack me with. And now, virus cannon! Send her magic cards to the graveyard. Ha! Now do you understand why so many people love me, even though I'm the biggest dick in this entire show? <laughs> it's because I'm Seto freaking Kaiba. And yeah, so no bitch. Substitutes. I just ruined your entire deck in a few you measly turns and now it's just a matter of time before i destroy you with the very card you gave to me obelisk the torment exchange of spirit exchange of what now no. <laughs> i have to say um i do like a bridge kaiva he is the perfect combination of cocky uh, intelligent and just kind of a dick <laughs> I like it. Now we must swap the cards in our decks with the cards in our graveyards, leaving me with all the cards I need, and you, Kaiba, with <laughs> only six. <laughs> Fuuuuck! <laughs> you my Wang, G? Yes, I am Colonel Wang. <laughs> Can I touch you? Of course. <laughs> it's funny because Wang means penis. Oh no, Seto's in danger! I must save him! To the Mokuba Mobile! <sighs> Another hey, Dragon Ball Z bridge reference. Away. There isn't a Mokuba mobile. Big brother, <laughs> are you okay? Kaiba looks nice. Uh, Mokuba looks weird there. <gasps> Mokuba, she's crippled my deck. What the hell do I do now? Kick her in the nads. She doesn't have those things. <laughs> Shit. In that case, I'm all out of options. Thanks, Mokuba. As always, you've been a big help. <laughs> no problem, bro. Yawn. This card game needs more imminent death. I think I'll go find Odeon and murder him a little. Then maybe I'll give the Pharaoh the biggest hug of his life. Oh, fudge. I could have sworn I set this thing to vibrate. What the hell oh, happened to the hair? <gasps> What's wrong with the animation? Why? Why? The animation was so good. What's happening? Why, you guys? Why? Why do I have to go through this? Why? What has happened? What has happened for this? The animation used to be so good. <laughs> I command you to wait, Kaiba. You must not use Obelisk. The future depends on it. And so does the past. What the? Just who the hell are you? I am you. I'm the cybernetic ghost of Christmas past from the future. And I am here to help you win this children's card game. Uh... And why would you want to do that? Oh, well, I'm glad you asked because, you see, thousands of years ago, there was a bloody war between man and machine. <laughs> Mankind fought tooth and nail to defeat the rampaging devices, but their leader, Christian Bale, was blinded by greed and bitterness. And it was of to course. be his downfall. For he was murdered in his sleep by his wife, Bryce Dallas Howard, who was, as it turns out, 
A deadly Cylon agent. <laughs> Wait, I thought you said this all happened in the past. It did. And, and it, it will. Look, can we just get to the part that concerns me? It's all about you, isn't it, Seto Kylo? <laughs> oh, yeah. Very well. Thousands of years ago, before Joss Whedon, you lived in ancient Egypt. <laughs> and you were dating this really hot chick. I was? Yes. Good she for you, Kaiva. Totally into you for some reason. <laughs> huh. Did we ever have sex? Yes. Was it good? No. <laughs> Kaiva, you must not use your god card. If you do, the fate of the world and your totally hot dragon girlfriend from the distant future will be in play. Oh, no, 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 not dragon girlfriend. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, fam, no, fam, please, no, no, no. <laughs> No, 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 Destiny. I am Seto Kaiba. I make uh, my own fate. And now I'm going to summon my blue eyes white dragon to destroy your remaining life points. But why? Why would you do such a thing? <laughs> because, because I'm a, a dick. robot from the future told me to. <laughs> okay. Oh, what? Not like it's any more ridiculous than half the stuff you've been coming out with. <laughs> I lost. That giant rock lied to me. It looks like the rules just got screwed. <laughs> Uh, I, you could have written something more cool, but Millennium Necklace is more like Millennium Shirt Class. Oh, what's up? It's starting to ball. <laughs> suck, Lace, okay. Oh, what's up? It's starting to bore me how much you suck. No, seriously, you all suck. Boink! I broke your stupid crap, moron. My fists, they are made of steel! Um. Oh, wait. <laughs> um. <clears throat> This episode was interesting. Uh, this episode was very interesting because it could be the the shifting point for Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge to do its own thing, you know, and create its own story, which personally, I feel like it would be better. But besides that, I, I, I thought it was enjoyable, quite enjoyable, um, honestly. Um, I still feel like that whole uh, Kaiba gets a vision uh, and, and and is able to defeat the Millennium Necklace kind of feels like dumb. They also ex machina to me. Uh, I liked how the Bridge series did it. Uh, it feels funny and <laughs> and stuff. But um, at the same time, like when I think about it, when I think about what I just watched, right? Um, I, I question myself about is this actually legitimately in the show good uh is, is this not this does not just uh deus ex machina kind of solution <laughs> which it shouldn't kaiba doesn't need a deus ex machina he should be the one that stands above the deus ex machina actually manages to defeat them he should be the one that stands against fate and stuff like that again the show keeps undermining Ka uh, kaiba and the way i see it he loses all the time and when he wins it's like a half victory like if he just got help from like the the, the blue eye spirit that was actually his wife in the past or whatever if that's why he, he managed to actually remember uh or got the strategy to utilize blue eyes it just feels like deus ex machina and it undermines his victory again like i feel like every time kaiba has won in this show it's been a half victory against Yu-Gi-Oh! Against Yu-Gi-Oh! Against Yugi, I mean, when he won, he threatened to kill himself or whatever. Uh, so it doesn't really count. This one, he got help. Doesn't really count. It's it's kind of undermining his character, and I feel like for the character that what Karibo said, it's true. For a character that's likable, uh, even though he's dickish and stuff like that, 
uh, he for Kekka that is likable like that. Uh, you're just burying him into the ground like that. It's such a shame. So make Kaiva, you know, give him some protagonism. Um, that, that's all I want to say about that. But in this show, they are they are doing Kaiva justice, I feel like. Uh, and especially this season, I feel like Kaiva has been a lot better uh, in general. So yeah, guys, I'm going to leave it up here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like and subscribe, share it with your friends and all that good stuff. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!